On the northeast coast of Ireland, there stands a mighty town. In need of a facelift, many shops are closing down. The people here are friendly. On their face, they have a smile. Fill in West Street with shoppers, once known as Drawdus Golden Mile. Broken-hearted parents, farewells at the plane, a very sad sight, their teardrops mixed with rain. Drogheda was always a fine town for employment. It had the cement, it had Coca-Cola, it uh, had many industries in manufacturing. One after the other, all of these have more or less dried up. Drogheda was something of a boom town and it has moved to quite the opposite of that. In many ways, it's a microcosm of what's gone wrong with the country, that you go through our main streets, close down businesses. The property is in negative equity. Very many of the people are unemployed. A great deal of pessimism in the air and so forth. When I was growing up in Drogheda, there was a great community spirit in the town. And uh, when I came back eight years ago, there wasn't that community spirit that had gone. There was something missing pretty much. My family do seven of us, and I'm the only one in Drogheda. I'd hate my grandchildren now to have to emigrate. I want the people we have here kept in the town so there's no broken-hearted parents standing at the airport for these and crying and not like my, our parents done, you know. There are grandparents today, if their grandchildren go away, never see them again. And that is the, the whole, that's what haunts me. I may have done it in January, and I'm just looking for work here, there, and everywhere, anywhere I can get my hands on, you know? It's not easy as that, trying to pay a mortgage on £188 a week, if I have. And you've got a mortgage of well over £1,000 a month, just before you put food on the table, clothe your child, send them to school, do anything. If I don't get another job soon, I will have to probably look at emigrating again. There is a way out, and the way out is people in the town get together, everyone, all businesses, and see what we can do, like. If Drogheda is very, very high up in, in the league for unemployment, I realise that at 49, I'm probably too old to be employed, but I can make a change here and make a difference here. I am volunteering here. I also volunteer for the local lifeboat. I know of a couple of guys who've retire, retired redundant with me. They are with St Vincent and Paul. These guys want to work, but the manufacturing base they know is gone. Okay, so come on. It may return, hopefully it will. But we want these guys here to aspire to other things, develop them as people, develop them to be able to, to change and withstand change and grow with change. And that's a big thing. It, it's very difficult for someone of, we'll say, more senior years to change and are scared of changing. But if we get the culture in, in the Drogheda area in town, that people are willing to change, want to change, and embrace change, then this town will go far. It's always darkest before the dawn, and this is probably the worst period of, of, of Drahada's industrial history, because it's very hard to see what can happen from here on in. But we are a very resilient people. So like Cromwell, when he came and sacked the town and we were in a very bad place, as far as I'm concerned, and as far as so many other people are concerned, we will get out of it. A couple of years into living here, we both lost our jobs. We never anticipated that that would happen. It affected our marriage and our relationship. I mean, we stuck together and we stayed strong, but it was, it was a depressing time. We didn't have a lot of hope. So we start looking, we, we had to do something. We didn't want to be unemployed. Yeah, we didn't I just want wanted to, to be do busy. That. And we, Mumstown was there, there was an opportunity to take on Mumstown and we jumped at it. It's a good time to do something that you love to do. When you're in a place where you have no money, you have no future, there are no jobs, 
you know what, take a stab at something. And if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. We do have to do something for our children because in 10, 15 years time, there needs to be something in place for them. So we can get ourselves out of this mess, we can. But we do need to work together and it's really important to support Irish businesses and Irish companies and for us to work together locally. We all experience a, a very difficult and challenging trading times, but what we need to do now as a set of traders into town is to move on and look to the future. Shop Street, my own street here, is one example. We changed the streetscape, we redressed the street, we put new street furniture, hanging flowers, hanging flags. We've 28 stores in the street, uh, 26 of them are trading, so we're nearly at full occupancy. But there is business to be done, and it is being done. So a lot of people can be an example to the rest of the country. We just need that little bit of spark. Everyone just needs that little bit of spark to ignite. Keep our heads up and be brave. It will turn. It's just that we all have to stick together and we will, we will have something to fight for and the main thing is just keep fighting. Drogheda has a great deal going for it. There's an awful lot of good individual persons, organisations and groups which, if it could be harnessed, I think Drogheda could be a very, very thriving place indeed. Drogheda never really had to sell its heritage and culture, its music and its people. We're one of the oldest towns in Ireland. We have the River Boyne running through us. We're the gateway to the Boyne Valley. And also, we're very talented as people. We need to actually start getting out there and telling people about that. We have to sell our town with pride, with with passion. If, if you give the people of the town a project and if you give them ownership of it, make them feel that they are an integral part of the town, you will succeed. I have absolutely no doubt about that. Absolutely none. If we've got so many people with drive to do this, to, to, to promote draw, to do nothing else, just promote draw. We basically have got to bring Drogheda to a stage that we are selling one story on one map, on one document, in all different shapes and sizes throughout the year. But Drogheda is here to do business, is capable of doing business, and we want to do business. If you can contribute to your community, you are actually making it better. And if everybody sat down and started talking to one another, it would actually accelerate the whole of this process of the regeneration and reinvention. Jobs would be created, people would actually get their confidence back. Believe in ourselves, believe in our product, give, sell our product nationally and internationally, and tell the people what we have, and don't be, don't be afraid, be proud of it, because I certainly am. I am proud of my town, I think it's a fantastic town, and I think there's lots more to do, lots more to achieve, and we will achieve it.